If you are new to the Photo P program, um, Command Z will always take you backwards. And sometimes, like it's being today, it's slow. Sometimes it's laggy. This is a free version of Photoshop, so it's not quite as slick as the paid version. But it's um, a good option for us to have at home. All right, so my picture is cropped. We know it's 11 by 14. Now we're going to go ahead and posterize it. Okay, so if we come up to Image, Adjustments, and then come all the way down here to Posterize. Okay, I can slide this off to the side so I can see my picture a little bit better. Right now, it has broken my picture into three colors. If you are doing level one, you have to have at least five colors. So I'm going to change this to five. And then just click somewhere else, and it's going to adjust. So this would be five color options. Okay, one, two, three, four. And the thing that's a little tricky about this is even though I've typed five, you're really going to only probably see four color changes in here. Let me count one more time. One, two, three, yeah, four. I see four. So whatever number you put in, just know that when you're mixing colors, there's there's going to be less in your actual printout. For some reason, um, even though this says six here, I'm only really going to be able to pick out five colors out of this image. So this would get me where I need to be if I'm level one. I could also bump this up to seven, which would give me six colors that I would have to paint. It gives me a little bit more detail. So you decide which one, if you want to go six or seven, looks the best. I kind of think six looks better than seven. I do not love that big line right under my nose on seven. So I'm going to stick with six, not 67. Okay, now if you are doing a level two or a level three painting, you may have this broken into more layers. Okay, could be a little bit more detailed. Um, le level three people, you kind of are going to have separate instructions. This tutorial can help you too. Um, but level one and level two, level one, I really want to, you must paint a minimum of six colors, okay? I'm gonna bring in my other color into my background. And then my layer, or my level two folks, I want you to have seven to eight colors in your, your paintings, okay? So just adjust accordingly. Let's just try nine here and see what we get. So if I'm a level two person and I put in nine, that means I'm gonna have eight colors here I can paint. I like that, that would work fine. But I'm gonna have more value changes in that I'll have to identify, okay? All right, um, kind of a cool thing, if you're wanting to, to see how many different colors you've got, I click on this little swatches at the top, and then I come over and I grab the eyedropper tool. And if I click in these areas, it's going to find the colors. So this that I just tapped on is this color, number one number two number three number four oops that's black this is number five and that is number six it's a really dark gray um, I'm missing a few in here. There should be a few more variations that we haven't grabbed just yet. Yep, that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm up to seven, okay? And then eight would be where I would change my background, and that would give me eight color changes. I like to do this where I find the swatches, and then I just take a screenshot of this little swatch menu that I just made. <clears throat> and I'll pull this back up, and when I'm mixing my colors, then I know I've got a few that are a little bit out of order here. This one should go here, and then this one, and then this one. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I would mix something else for my background would be my number eight color in something just totally different. But those are my different variations. 
that I need to have in my painting, okay?